welcome back welcome back welcome back thank you for being back and today i have a very 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 exciting video because i will not only be showing my favorite products but i will also be um speaking about all the products that i've used thus far at least those that i still have with me and i will try to insert some pictures of those that i've used before but i don't currently have with me so let's just get started okay all right so first off We'll be speaking about um, shampoos and conditioners. And right now I'm using this Aussie Moist shampoo. This shampoo isn't a bad shampoo to use. Um, it's not the best shampoo. It's not my favorite shampoo. But this is what I'm using right now. I know some people don't like sulfate. I think this contains sulfate in the ingredients. Yes, it has sulfate. And I know some people go sulfate 3 and so on. But I don't really look at these things in detail. So yes, this shampoo has sulfate. Um, It does a really good job in cleaning your hair and getting your scalp clean. And it's not sh very stripping. If you're looking for a conditioning type of shampoo, a shampoo that will give you more moisture instead of more more of a cleanse then this wouldn't be it but uh, this isn't a bad shampoo to use um i would recommend it for people who have probably more of a low porosity type hair yeah so this is the shampoo that i'm currently using it isn't a bad shampoo it's slightly stripping but not all that much not like some of those shampoos that really really get your hair really dry no it's not like that so i'll definitely recommend this shampoo <laughs> All right, good. And now I have the conditioner. This is the same Aussie Moist. This is the conditioner. Okay, am I getting there? Yes, this is the conditioner. This is a really good conditioner. It's way better than the shampoo, of course. I think all conditioners are better than the shampoos. But this is a really good shampoo conditioner. It it doesn't give the um. Well, I say it's not the best. Um, conditioner but if you're looking for a low budget conditioner something that gives that adds moisture to your hair and isn't just there isn't just that's actually doing its job then yes this would work really well all right um before I move on to anything else let me just bring out this Afroji product this product helped my hair so much I was going through a period in my hair where it's by the way it's the Afroji Serious Care and Protection Carotin 2 Minute Reconstruction. There was a time when I was going through a phase of my hair where it had no life, it was feeling dead, it wasn't bouncing back or anything like that. And I used this and it brought back the life to my hair. So if your hair is feeling as if it's dead and it needs the life to be brought back into it, then this definitely, you should get yourself one of this. All right, so next off, well, you know my leave-in conditioner that I'm currently using is the Shea Moisture um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I recommend if you're someone who's going to be doing protective styling and you need the moisture in your hair to last for a long time, then this is definitely the product for you. It's not a very good product for twist outs or um, wash and goes or anything that's anything that you would need definition with. You wouldn't get much definition from this product, but what you would um. You would keep the moisture in your hair for a really long time. It lasts me about, let's say, if I keep the twist in my hair without washing my hair back, probably last me about, keep my hair moisturized about seven days. Yeah, so this is a really good product to hold in moisture. And of course, we have its twin, the Jamaican Black Castor, the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore deep treatment mask and as I said this is a really really good deep treatment mask I will continue using this deep treatment mask it's all I need in my life in a deep treatment mask until I find something better than this every now and then I'll probably try new deep treatment mask just to see what it do what it don't do but this is a staple product and you need this if you're trying to get your hair to be strong to feel healthy to this does exactly what the label says. It's str strengthening and it restores. So this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Treatment Mask. 
<laughs> all right next we have this mail product mm -mm -mm. this is the mail pomegranate and honey cool smoothie and let me tell you about this got that screenshot it smells the same way it looks it looks so pretty and it smells so good if you if you want that effect when you pass by someone and they sniff you and they smell your hair and it smells really good then this is the product this smells so good when you walk into a room your hair if it's freshening your hair your hair would light up a room it will light up a burst with the smell of this product mind you it's a light product it doesn't last very long <laughs> and probably that's because it's a light product so it doesn't last very long but the smell i would definitely buy this back just because of the smell that's how good it smells but in terms of keeping them, your hair moisturized for a long period of time, it doesn't do that. If you're someone who has um, thick hair and you need thick products or your hair likes thick products, then you probably shouldn't get this. But I would use this if I'm doing a low slick burn just so I could add some nice smell to my hair. Because you know when you're doing low slick burns, you tend to use a lot of gel. So you would need a base and this is light so it wouldn't cause... Um, product build up or anything in your hair so you need something light especially when you're using a lot of gel so this definitely get you some myelsis if you want to smell good <laughs> change your hair to smell good all right so what should i think okay now we have to talk about these oils we have to speak about these oils of course we have to speak about the wild growth hair oil you got that you need to take a screenshot of this. If you don't have one of this, you need to go and buy one of this because this is very essential in our hair growth routine, sweetie. This is very essential in our hair growth routine, especially for persons with thicker or coarser hair whose hair takes longer to grow because, you know, some of our, us, our hair, um, from one, um, we have two strands growing out of one hole or whatever. So our hair takes longer to grow. This oil will definitely help your hair grow. It got me back my edges and my edges was gone <laughs> they were gone okay <laughs> and a friend of mine recommended this to me and i used it for about let's see how long did the bottle last me i think the bottle last me about three months because i was not only putting it on my edges but i was also putting it throughout my scalp and this baby hair grew back my edges it was dark times it was really dark times. <laughs> but yes, if you're looking to grow rocket edges or get that length or any of that, then this is what we're using. This is what we shall be using for the entire year to, re to grow our hair and if you're trying to regrow your edges because it definitely helped me regrow my edges. Okay. And since we're on the topic of edges, bring out this bad boy. <laughs> and I know a lot of people probably don't support this product because it has alcohol and of course alcohol isn't the best thing to be using but if you're looking to lay and slay your edges and you want your edges down for the entire day and not 15 minutes after it flies back up then this is what you should be using for them edges mind you you need to be careful don't sl be slaying your edges every day you don't need to be doing all that so you could use this this really keeps down your hair i wouldn't advise you to put it on the entire length of your hair if you're doing a slick burn or something like that because as i said it has alcohol in it and alcohol is not good for our hair so if you're looking for something for your edges well i have this big bottle it's almost done actually i've had it for a long time now because you really don't need much when you're doing your edges and that's all i use it for to do my edges but mind you a quick tip when you're doing your edges before you do your edges you should um put some castor oil or put some type of oil on your edges first and then use this to do your edges because of the alcohol and so forth i can bring a video elaborating on this i have some other products that i use um but i don't have them right now because they're empty and i throw them away because you know we don't keep junk anyways i will um speak about them more to the end of this video but as for now let me speak on what i have right now Okay, so bringing into the scene the softy castor oil um, grease. I use this grease. I don't use grease often, but when I don't have oil, this is the only time I would take out this grease. And this is the grease that I would use. It has a decent smell. It doesn't have a bad smell. It has a decent smell. 
And I know a lot of people don't use grease in their hair, but like I said, when I don't have oil, I would that's when I would use this grease. So usually I would add some more Jamaican black castor in it and mix it up in it. I don't know, I just feel like, you know, it helps it more. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, I use this grease and it's, it works really well, Um, I guess. What does grease really do? But yes, as long as I don't have oil to um, put on my scalp, I use this grease. Alright, good. So next. Of course, we have to talk about our Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And I only have a small bottle because what I usually do, I have all the oils that I would take and I would mix together and put in the applicator bottle and put out through my hair. And I usually use this Sunny Isle Black Castor Oil for my edges as well to keep them there. You see, Jamaican Black Castor Oil is a really thick oil. So if your hair doesn't like thick oils, I would recommend this to put out on the length of your hair. Because then it could weigh down your hair and so on. But my hair likes Jamaican Black Castor Oil. It works pretty well with it. But I usually use this on my edges before I slay my edges. When I do, I don't slay my edges often. But when I do, I would use this oil. <laughs> yeah, I would use this oil. Alrighty. And next. Whilst we're on the subject of slaying things, I shall bring out this bad boy. The Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. Now, I've been using Eco Styler for some time now. And this one, for me, is the best. For me, hear me out. Alright, so I've been using, I've used the Eco Styler jamaican black castor oil and flaxseed oil you know the one with the black cover it has it's kind of shiny but that's one it doesn't when i like have a high bun or a low slick bun or whatever it doesn't keep my hair down enough by the next day or something my hair will be flying back but this gel is a really thick gel it's a really heavy gel and i think that's the reason why it weighs down my hair and it works so much better. So if you're looking to slay your hair and to swoop them edges, you can also use this for your edges. I use this for my edges when I don't feel like using the um, Gorilla Snot because of the um, alcohol and all of that. I use this. So yes, if you're looking to slay your hair to get a low slick bun and all that jazz, <laughs> I'm being so extra right now, you should definitely use this. I tried it once with a wash and go. But it didn't come out well. And that's because this is a really thick gel. And if you're using a really thick gel, then you need to use a water-based leave-in for your um for your moisturizer. So because two heavy um products won't go well together, it will just cause a mess, and that's what it did in my hair, cause a mess the last time I used this for a wash and go because the product that I was using was a thick product. So yes, you need to be careful if you're trying to do a wash and go with this gel, then you need to be careful what moisturizer that you're using with the wash and go. Which I will be bringing a wash and go video soon. Look out for that. <laughs> but we're productive styling now, right? Alright, so next product, what should I take out? Um, let's speak about hair growth. So, introducing... Well, not introducing because you already know about this. But this is the Hair, Skin and Nails Gummies. This is the um, 2500 MCG strength. And this is kind of addictive. Sometimes I, don't, I, sometimes I really take my one for the day and I would take another one just because I like to chew on it because it's gummies. <laughs> so yeah, but it tastes really good. It's on one of these tablets, especially if you're a person who don't like to swallow tablets. You don't have to worry about all of that. So yeah, it's a gummy. I usually take one a day, but if I'm feeling mischievous and bored, I would just take another one and it helps with hair growth. Now what I've noticed about this, um, about this, when I use it, let's say I use it in two months, I finish it off in two months, right? I wouldn't notice any growth or any significant growth within the two month period, but usually I would take it and then I would take a break from it. Let's say I'll take a one month break and in that one month break, I know this might sound strange, but in that one month break, that's what I've noticed personally, that's when I would actually see growth and I would attribute it to this product. Boom. 
And since we're on the topic of growth, this is all faithful. This virgin um, hair fertilizer, and I have had this one for a while. This is actually my second box, and I don't really use it that often because it has a terrible smell. The smell is not, it's not it. And I only use it in the night when I do use it. When I'm protective styling, I would use this, and it does not have the best smell, but it works. It really, 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 really works. Trust me. It works. So you need to get yourself one of those. This box is kind of old, so I don't just screw around with it too much. But yeah, this is it. Yeah. And now, I don't have the rest of the products that I've used, so I will try to insert a picture somewhere above my head or somewhere here. <laughs> but um, we could speak about now TGIN. I've used that product, and it's, let me tell you, I'm not sure which one, no, the Mayel has a better smell than TGIN. TGIN, it kind of smells like yogurt. Like, I'm not sure what kind of yogurt, but it smells similar to yogurt. It has a really good smell. It's really moisturizing, but it's also a lightweight product. So if you're someone who doesn't like lightweight products, then um, I would recommend you get it. Because I know some people here naturally work better with thicker products so if you don't like lightweight products then i wouldn't recommend it it is a product however that i would buy again but not no time soon because i'm using the um Jamie, um shea moisture leave in right now and we're protective styling but yeah i've done a couple twist outs with it and it came out really well so yeah definitely that's a product you would buy however i know i've been speaking about a lot of light products however um as i am Product. I'm not sure what exact what exactly in the line I had probably was the leave-in or something like that. but I'll insert the picture of it because I usually take a picture of all my products because I'm always so excited when I buy new products so I'll insert the picture somewhere in here of it but that is a thick product it has a decent smell it has a nice smell not as um attractive as the Mayel or the TGIN but it has a really good smell it's a thicker product, so for persons who like thick products, that would be a good product for you. Yeah, it's, um, what else can I say? It's the, the one I got, it was kind of pink. The inside was kind of pink, yeah. It has, it's a really decent product. It's something, I would rush to buy it anytime soon, but it wasn't a bad product. I didn't regret buying it or anything like that, and yeah. What else have I used? Lots of body. If you're someone who's looking for something a bit cheaper for your budget, I know I usually do, but um, let me just explain. Lots of body. It's a, it's the lots of body twist me pudding. It's a it's in a blue. Uh, it has a blue cover. I'll insert a picture, of course. But um, it's a really what should I say? It's on a very thick product but it's not on the light side either it's in between there and it's um it's not expensive so you'll be able to afford it um what else it's a really good product it it helps it works a lot with adding definition to your hair at least it works a lot of adding definition to my hair i would definitely buy that product again the only thing about that product it doesn't last very long it will probably last uh, my, um keep my hair moisturized for about three days and although it's not expensive i prefer buying bigger products like um the shea moisture because think about it you'd buy a shea moisture product which is a little bit more expensive but it's bigger and then you'd buy the lot of body which is um more affordable but it's smaller and it doesn't keep your lot of body doesn't keep your hair moisturized all that long so um i prefer buying the bigger product because you the time i take to buy one lot um one shea moisture i'll have to buy two lots of body and it just doesn't add up it just doesn't make sense in my head at least so but it's definitely a product i will buy again if you're looking to do a wash and go i would recommend the lot of body because it gives you a lot of definition so yes 
and of course you know about my oils i'm too lazy to get up to go and get them but i will insert a picture but you've seen me use the oils before if you haven't then i have a whole oil video out so if you haven't you should go and check out that video sweetie mm -hmm. all right so well that's basically it for the products that i've used so far or that at least that i've recently used and i can tell talk about it that's the products, but um, I have used Cantu products and Cream of Nature products. I haven't used Cantu in a very long while, and I haven't used Cream of Nature either in a very long while. So I won't be able to say too much about those products. But I remember at first, at the beginning of my natural hair journey, or my healthy hair journey, whatever you want to see, I used to use Cantu, but I stopped using Cantu because they added... This is my theory. They added alcohol to the product. I never, the first time I bought it, I will be honest, I didn't check to see if it had alcohol in it. But it worked really, really well with my hair first time I bought it. And then eventually it stopped working with my hair. I'm not quite sure exactly why, but I noticed that alcohol was on the label. So I just attributed it to that. But all in all, I stopped using it because it stopped working for my hair, so I stopped using it and I started to use Cream of Nature. And their products never really lasted long in my hair, so I stopped using that as well. And from thenceforth, I kept um, switching products until I found one that I like. And I actually have found a couple of products that I do like and that I'm using right now, like the Shea Moisture Leave-In. But um, I will be sticking with the Shea Moisture Leave-In for, um, for the rest of the year probably because we're doing our protective styling on this journey together. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But yes, um, I will be using the Shea Moisture um, line for now. And I think that's about it. Let me just give you a close-up of what my hair is like right now. Did you see that? See that once? Did you see that? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so if you came to the end of this video, thank you for staying for this 22 minute long video. If you like this um, video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Like, this is a journey and we're going to be on it together. Don't miss the bus. We don't want to be in 2021 draping, pulling our hair, showing off our inches and you're not there. So you might as well subscribe right now. Give you a second to subscribe. Did it? Okay, good. All right. So, bye.